Lots of talk and finally some action towards ending the political stalemate on the National Disability Insurance Scheme. New South Wales and Victoria have backed down, making new offers and putting more money on the table. The peace offer appears to be a win for the Prime Minister, those with disabilities and their carers. Here's state political reporter Eliza Blue. A carer's challenge to state and federal politicians. Even challenge them for the day. And see how many nappies they clean up and how many bags they've got to change on her stomach. And how many times she chokes a day. Alice Lee's 32-year-old daughter Katrina suffers from cerebral palsy, epilepsy and seizures. Like this? Yep. Ready? Good girl. Now there's renewed hope Alice and Katrina will benefit from a trial of the National Insurance Scheme in New South Wales. Late today, the state blinked. This afternoon, the Premier of New South Wales has written to the Prime Minister making this offer of an additional $35 million, which will go on top of the upwards of half a billion dollars towards an NDIS trial site in the Hunter. The Victorian Premier also bound to pressure this afternoon, agreeing to pay an extra $40 million. I take the view that this scheme uh, is just too important too important to play political games with, and I have never sought to do that. Having received these two letters, I am now very optimistic that we will see National Disability Insurance Scheme launch sites in Victoria and in New South Wales. State Disabilities Minister Andrew Constance says this is the final offer. Yeah, this is, this is it. You know, we, we've, we've put over half a billion dollars on the table. There's still no movement from Queensland. Its Premier, Campbell Newman, wants the federal government to create a new tax to fund the scheme into the future, something the Prime Minister has rejected. This evening, Julia Gillard made a final plea for compromise. This in modern Australia isn't someone else's problem. It's everybody's problem. Uh, everyone knows someone uh, who struggles with a disability. And those affected say change can't come fast enough. Eliza Blue, ABC News.